What's up, guys? I wanted to talk about weight loss, diet, eating right, something that is a goal of almost everybody around the world. Or maybe just in America. Weight loss and getting healthy is a goal, but that goal can be a very difficult one to achieve sometimes. People go on diets, things that aren't going to work, but I have been on a diet for the most part since May of this year. And I can tell you for a fact the diet works if you stick to it. Since May, I have lost 26.1 pounds. That's incredible. I feel so much better. I have so much energy. I feel stronger. I feel lighter. I feel like I can fly through the air. A lot of weaknesses, anxiety, back pains, blood pressure, any kind of issue has gone down way down because I've lost the weight. It's worth it, you can do it. I tried other diets in the past, they never worked for me. This time, my mind was in it, I tried it, and I took it to the next level, and I have achieved 26.1 pounds. This diet I'm talking about is the keto diet. I don't know if you've heard of it or not, but the keto diet is low carb, high fat diet. Society, doctors, Pamphlets, organizations will tell you keep fats out of your diet, you need carbs for fuel. I'm here to tell you that is wrong. Not going to work. Keto diet says low carb. We have done no carb for as long as I can. We have had a few cheat days in there, but we have done no carbs, no sugar. That means no rice, no potatoes, no pasta, no sandwiches. No breads or crackers of any kind. No sugar, no candies, no sodas, no milk, no desserts, and no carbs, which turn to sugars, including potatoes and even corn. Probably thinking, well, what the heck can I eat on this diet? Well, my friends, that is why we are here today. Meat, vegetables, and fats, such as meat. We kind of got meat covered. Veggies or basically anything that grows in the ground except potatoes, not potatoes, and <clears throat> fats, the healthy fats, real butter, not margarine, not the stuff you buy in the tub. If you buy it in a tub, you're doing it wrong. The stuff in the tub, I can't believe it's not butter. Any of the spreads, they're made with chemicals. They are harmful to your body. So heavy whipping cream, butter, olive oil, avocado oil, you can have all of it. You can still go out to eat at restaurants. Go out, be smart about what you're eating. This includes drinks. Water intake must go up drastically. You must have at least try to do a gallon of water a day. It keeps you fuller. When you start eating clean, eating natural like this, cutting out all carbs, your hunger goes away because your body resets and it stays fuller off the nutrition longer. You want cheeseburgers, you can still have cheeseburgers. If you want a fish sandwich, you can still have a fish sandwich. The only difference that you change is when you go out and you order these things, order them bunless. Get them in lettuce wraps. Get your cheeseburger with all the fixings wrapped in lettuce. Give it a shot, it's a lot better than what you think it would. Stick to salads. You can have fatty dressings such as Caesar, blue cheese, ranch. There's zero sugars in them, if any, probably one gram of sugar. Instead of having carbs for fuel, your body feeds off the fat. So it has to eat away at the fat inside your body, uses that for fuel, that is how you lose the weight. Carbs have a tendency to bring on hunger, so you're hungry more often, you tend to eat more, they make you crave more, and they can bring on side effects such as anxiety. I know from first hand. It may be difficult for the first week or two while you're on the keto diet, Low carb or no carb like we did. No sugars, nothing that turns to sugar for the first week or two. You may go through withdrawals, you may have headaches, but you will get through it. So with that said, tonight we are making a keto dish, keto nachos. I'll walk you through the ingredients to do, the way to cook it, and the flavors and tastes, and the pleasure of enjoying the moment eating it. All right, so we're making keto nachos made with cauliflower. No bread involved, no carbs involved, just cauliflower as your chips. Onions, 
green peppers, cheesy toppings, rotel, jalapenos. So cutting the cauliflower, you slice the cauliflower to try to get these pieces out of it. Of course it may be a little difficult because it likes to crumble up, but once you get those pieces, you want to be careful with them and try to save them so we can use them like nacho chips. Alright, so once your cauliflower is cut up and you have these large pieces here, we're going to put some olive oil on a cookie sheet. And we're going to move these over here. Hoping they don't fall apart. Those act as your chips. your cookie sheet, we're going to put some olive oil and your seasons on it. Alright, so what your temperature in your oven set to 425 degrees, we're going to bake that for 10 minutes. Whatever kind of meat you want. Hamburger, ground turkey. for five more minutes at 500 degrees. All right, so once it's out, you can put your toppings on and you're good to go. And your dishes are complete. That's it guys, as you saw there, that was our dinner. All flour, nachos, keto style, almost. I added beans, but don't add beans. You're keto style, you're good to go. So, it was amazing, my tummy's full, woo -hoo! Oh, so uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit the little bell next to it if you wanna continue to see videos like this. Give me that thumbs up, thank you for all the love and support. Thank you for helping my channel grow. I will be doing more uh, healthy eating and food vlogs here in the future, along with my holiday tips videos and a normal everyday vlog on the weekends. Stay tuned. Thank you guys very much. Share the channel. Share, share, share. Hope you have a wonderful evening, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Blah.